Immunohistochemistry is an experimental method used to detect and make visible specific target antigens in tissue via labeled antibody and antigen interactions. An immunoglobulin G antibody consists of a constant FC region and two variable Fab fragments. The peritope, or antigen binding site, exists at the edge of the Fab fragments. An antibody binds selectively to the target antigen via attractive forces between the peritope of the antibody and epitope of the antigen. Immunohistochemistry can be conducted by way of two general methods. Direct immunohistochemistry involves the binding of a single primary antibody to the target antigen. A labeling agent, most often a fluorophore, is conjugated to the primary antibody. Upon exposure to light of a specific wavelength, the fluorophore will fluoresce and allow the antigen to be visualized. In indirect immune histochemistry, a primary antibody must selectively bind to the target antigen, and successive antibodies must bind selectively to the antibodies that come before them. The labeling agent, a fluorophore or chromophore, is conjugated to a secondary or even tertiary antibody. The most common form of indirect immunohistochemistry is avidin biotin complex staining. Avidin protein and biotin have a strong binding affinity. Each avidin molecule has four binding sites for biotin. When biotin binds to avidin, they form the avidin biotin complex. Biotin molecules can exist freely, but in immunohistochemistry, they are often conjugated to peroxidases, such as HRP or to secondary antibodies, as shown. Avidin biotin complex staining begins with the binding of the primary antibody to the target antigen. A secondary antibody conjugated with biotin binds to the primary antibody. Avidin protein can bind to the biotinylated antibody. A peroxidase conjugated to biotin can then bind to a free space on the avidin molecule. Horseradish peroxidase catalyzes the reaction between DAB and hydrogen peroxide. The product of this reaction is a brown DAB precipitate, water, and oxygen gas. The DAB precipitate stains the tissue brown in the vicinity of the antigen. By this method, the location of specific antigens in tissue can be visualized. 